honestly, when my video, when I. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick um, update. I have not disappeared off the face of the earth. Sorry if y'all expect me to post frequently. I'm sorry to let you guys down, but uh, I'm a very busy person and I just upload when I feel like it. So if you want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. First, you get your moisturizer, make everything nice and moist. You know what I'm saying? Moist. Next, we're going to top that off with some rose water because we fancy. Next, we're going to put some 14 karat gold on our face. This step is important because it'll attract the wealthy men. Now, this step is important because I have a sweaty T-zone and if they know we have sweat glands, it's over. And the men are also not supposed to know that we have human flesh. So I am using the Fenty Beauty Foundation because I like my men as luxurious as my makeup. Now I am using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer to hide the fact that I am very tired. And now with translucent powder, I will be setting my face and I will bake the snacks later. Now I'll be using the Hoola bronzer to emphasize my brownness in my cheeks, neck, and my fat head. And on top of that, I'll be using Coco Contour to look more three-dimensional. This step is very important because once the men know we can shapeshift, they will be frightened that we are part witch and they will not want to have children with us. And again with the translucent powder, I will be highlighting my tired bags and carving out my contour so they will be in awe and hand you their wallets. And while the snack is baking, I will be filling in my eyebrows using the NYX pomade. And next I am dusting off that powder with a brown pressed powder to prevent any flashback. Next you will be adding some blush to the apples of your cheeks to look a little more sweet and hide the fact that you are part witch. And with this light pink that won't focus, um, with a fluffy brush we'll be adding that to our crease as our transition shade. And this is the part where I messed up. I somehow didn't record the part where I was adding the um, darker pink. I don't know what happened! So enjoy these chihuahuas while I try to explain. So basically you take a smaller fluffy brush and take a darker pink to add more definition to the lighter pink and that will add a blend. And if you don't know how to blend, it's okay, they won't know the difference. And then you should get something like this. And this is the part where we put concealer in our flat brush and start cutting the crease. Anyways, you're going to be applying that to your lid, making it nice and sharp. I'm using the same flat brush because I'm a mess and I'm applying glitter glue exactly where um, we put that concealer. Like so. And I ran out of clean flat brushes so I'm using a smudge brush to apply the glitter. And you will be getting a lot of fallout, that's fine I guess, men like sparkly women. And using a white liner, you're going to emphasize the heart that you do not have. I kind of like just drew some V's. And this isn't the best liquid liner formula, so I just kept going over and over and over. Six and a half hours later. And then I just started adding dots. And I'm a very clumsy person, so I do put eyeliner before my falsies. That's just my method on applying fake lashes. That's why I'm so fake. And I am highlighting with this very underrated, very slept on glow kit from Anastasia. Now we're gonna baptize ourselves with some setting spray. 
And as for lips, I mixed a very pink shade and a very taupe shade to give myself a nude pink. Brown Girls of America, y'all know what I'm talking about. And that is it for this look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys subscribe and turn that post notification bell on because I don't know when I'm going to post next. See y'all later!